if tan beta is equal to tan alpha plus tan gamma upon 1 plus tan alpha tan gamma, then show that sin 2 beta is equal to sin 2 alpha plus sin 2 gamma divided by 1 plus sin 2 alpha into sin 2 gamma. Well, this question is clearly a multiple angle because we are given beta and they are demanding 2 beta. But the most important thing is instead of tan, we need everything in sine. So what we can do, we can break uh, tan to sine by cos and hence we can get everything in terms of sine and multiple angle. So we try. So we solve the right hand side of the given condition. We break tan to sine by cos. And just see, we're breaking tan beta is equal to sine alpha plus tan gamma upon 1 plus tan alpha tan gamma to sine by cos. And we'll take the LCM both in numerator as well as in the denominator. So it will turn to sine alpha cos gamma plus sine gamma into cos alpha divided by cos alpha into cos gamma divided by now when we take the LCM in the denominator it is cos alpha cos gamma plus sine alpha sine gamma divided by cos alpha cos gamma now we can cancel the LCM of both numerator as well as denominator this is the LCM of the numerator this is the LCM of the denominator so we can cancel that leaving the formula because the numerator is uh, sine a plus b and the denominator is cos a minus b so this is what we get we are now left with sine alpha plus gamma upon cos alpha minus gamma so using this condition will solve the rest of the thing now can you connect multiple angle with tan beta yes and that is sine 2 beta can be taken as 2 tan beta upon 1 plus tan square beta and hence we can put the value of tan beta if you remember tan beta is so we can put the value of tan beta here and in the numerator thereby we get Now taking the LCM, now denominator's denominator can be taken to the numerator because there is a rule that a over b upon c over d is ad by bc. So using that, now we can cancel this cos with this square and we have now you can see that the numerator is 2 sine a cos b and that is sine a plus b plus sine a minus b and denominator is cos square theta which can be taken as 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 and sine square theta which is 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 now applying the formula in numerator and denominator so 2 sine a cos b is sine a plus b plus sine a minus b
and in the denominator cos square or alpha minus beta will be and in the denominator cos square alpha minus gamma will be 1 plus cos 2 alpha minus gamma upon 2 plus sine square alpha plus gamma will be 1 minus cos 2 alpha plus gamma divided by 2 so in the numerator this gamma is gone now and this alpha is gone so the numerator is turning to sine 2 alpha plus sine 2 gamma and this is what we need in the numerator so numerator is done now in the denominator we are splitting so we are writing 1 by 2 and then 1 by 2 times of cos of 2 alpha minus 2 gamma plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 times of cos 2 alpha plus 2 gamma this 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 will turn to 1 so the effect will be the numerator remains the same the denominator this 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 will turn to 1 and from the remaining term taking a 1 by 2 common and then applying sum to product which is cos c minus cos d which is and that turns to this minus 2 and minus 2 is gone and now we are left with only the simplification of angles in the denominator and you can see that here this 2 gamma is gone being additive inverse and in the next angle 2 alpha is gone so we are now left with 4 times of alpha divided by 2 and into sine minus 4 times of gamma divided by 2 And what is sine minus theta? Because sine minus theta is minus sine theta, so we will, as we will apply the same formula in this, we're gonna get the answer. So the answer is, so now as we take minus common, we get the answer. So once you clear with the logic, it is not a difficult question, though it is little lengthy, but it's after you are done with your half angle and multiple angle formula, sum to product, it is not a difficult question. Thank you.